I was born in Cuba in a very small house, third floor, a bathroom which was a hole in the ground, chair with six families, there was no running water. We couldn't fix it because there was nothing available for us to make it better. My mother used to work 12 hours a day for around $6 per month. She raised four boys in that house by herself. And on Sundays, when it was her day off, the government used to call her for volunteer hours without payment. But that was not the biggest problem we have. The problem in socialist Cuba is we didn't have freedom. You cannot speak against the government. You cannot even go to church. In 1994, I jumped in a boat with 20 other Cubans looking for freedom. The 27 hours at sea in the boat was very difficult. The weather condition was really bad. There was charts. The Cuban Coast Guard started shooting at us, but we made it. We made it to the United States, and we're very thankful for that. During almost 26 years in the United States, I have had so many opportunities, like being an owner of two restaurants, outdoor two books, international sales manager for a company, traveling the world. And right now I got the honor and privilege of working for a United States Congressman, Congressman Mario diaz Balart. Any of these opportunities wouldn't be possible in Cuba. These socialists here in America, they are really talking about something that they haven't experienced in their own life. They don't even know what you have to go through to make that happen. You have to lose your freedom. You lose everything, and I have paid that price. If you see people risking their life in a boat coming from a socialist country where they supposedly have free education and free health care, just think, if they have that and they're escaping from that, what is going on in that country? In the United States, in capitalism, you can be whatever you want, and you can do whatever you want or speak your mind whenever you want.